anything like that before. Spam my lightning damage, though. They get taken care of. That was awesome. <laughs> it's the kind of stuff you expect from Diablo, just random crap that, you know, coming up out the ground and stuff. There's another guy bursting up from underneath. Be going in the right direction here. Yeah, here we go. I don't want to hit that stump. Come on. Come on, I don't really want to hit that stump. That's not what I was aiming at. You know that. Clearly, I wasn't. Hey, hey, let's hit that stump. I think that's necessary. That clearly. Oh, nice. Nice. Here we go. Shoes of the Hawk. Ooh! Jesus. Come on, Force. You saw that. What are you doing? Alright. What was that? What did I pick up? Boots. I need. Great. Uh, plus two precision. Okay. It'll do. It'll do. It's better than nothing. And I'm most certain that they're going to be some pretty uh, baller precision based builds to make sure that, you know, you're constantly connecting. But at this point, early stage of the game, beta playthrough, eh, uh, I, I don't need precision. That's not that. I mean, that's when you're min-maxing. You know, that's that's playing hardcore mode. And when you get to Inferno, and you really need to min-max and make sure that you're getting absolutely everything that is vital. And level six, that should be an unlock of the active skill slot. Let's see what spell I'm going to be getting as well. Electrocute. Hmm. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's pick some stuff up here. Um, let's just add in Electrocute. Now, Electrocute will be lightning arcs from your fingertips towards an enemy dealing 1 to 13 lightning damage. The lightning then jumps, hitting up to two enemies. Damage is reduced by 30% for each jump. But still pretty good, right? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeedy. Still pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. All right, so electrocute and shock pulse is probably what I'll be spamming. Now, what is the total damage here? One to thirteen, as opposed to the eight to eleven. So possible higher, but and that's the, the, the it literally is that range. You could hit for one, um, and that's another cool thing too. I like the ranged, the heavy heavy range damage of the electric spells here. See four to sixteen of that one. So you never know. It's high end or low end. It's luck. It's a roll of the dice. That's what this game's all about the RNG, my friends. The RNG. All right, let's go. I need someone to uh, test out my electrocute on. There we go. Look at that range too. All right. Really? Am I really just out of range of that guy? Wow, that's gay. Sorry, lame. Let's try to avoid saying stuff like that. My apologies. Didn't mean to say that. All right, uh, do, 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 do. got a ring. Nice. Increased casting speed by 3%. Wow. <laughs> I, lo I love how my character bugged out to coincide with my sound effect. Electric just looks so much cooler than the shock pulse. That's awesome. That is awesome. Let's keep going. Is this it? Hopefully. Oh, these guys are electrified too, huh? All right, guys. Electric dudes. How do you fare against your own medicine? Hmm? Not so well, huh? It appears. Not so well. You would assume that they would be resistant to that electrical damage, but it didn't really uh, appear to be the case. And I found it! Yes! Straight to the crypt, level two. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. On the ball, right on the ball. Let's get 
this guy pretty quick here. Holy crap, look at that damage. Damage spikes can be so high with this if it hits the high end. Not even, not even a chance there. Oh my gosh, that was sexy. That was so sexy. Oh, so sexy. All right, uh, plus one precision, plus two precision. Uh, that's an easy decision there, which to take. Wow, that was, I worked through that guy pretty hard. What was my buff? What the F? Nothing? Really? You, you gave me nothing? Nothing. No, useless shrine, useless. I, I wish there was some flavor text to go with that though. So it could be like fail or something. I don't really want it to just say fail, but I wonder if there's anybody up here. Yeah, we'll go back. Go back, take him out. I don't know why, I, I've checked that like three times in a row. I don't know why I feel it necessary to check up there. There we go. All right, let's go. Chief. Oops. I wanted to do this, actually. <laughs> oh, oh, electrocute spam. I got a ring, too. Sweet. Uh, the ring is plus eight defense. Uh, pretty unnecessary, but nice to have. Beats nothing. Stone recall back home. Get rid of this stuff. I'm surprised I can do that while doing stone recall, too. I, I, I find that interesting that they let you do that at the same time. Usually there's some sort of a limitation on that, like only one type of action like that at a time. All right, still crafting on nothing, and I'm still wearing my pink pants. New is the day it was placed upon the Black King's head. Yep. I need something more than me. Awesome. All right, time to keep going. And we are now in search of the Templar. Wizard Let's Play going pretty well. So far. Haven't had any major mistakes. I can't believe in my first playthrough I got rocked on that barb, and then on all successive playthroughs I have not died once. <laughs> I can't believe that I let that happen. Don't worry, I was fully embarrassed. You guys don't have to be embarrassed for me. That was just me not paying attention. Multiple times. <laughs> Electrified guys here too. But, jeez. Wizard, what are you doing? You're beasting people. This is unreal. Wow. That was nice. I'm taking that electric damage, I don't really care because I had the. I got the gloves. Oh, 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 helm. Uh, yep, got pick up a little bit closer. Plus two yards to the globes and gold. That's an interesting uh, modifier. I don't know. It makes it easier to pick stuff up. Durr. Um, but why, you know, I mean, when is that really, wouldn't you prefer other modifiers? I mean, I guess that's one of those things, maybe you'll just take it because you lack, you know, something else, right? Because you, you don't always get what you want in this game. You have to base it off of what is available to you. And just, I'm just pretty much going to be able to let you get spam, I think, for the rest of this playthrough. <laughs> Given how clearly strong it is. I think I could get away just spamming that non-stop. And are the shrines busted? Because I'm pretty sure that this one didn't give me anything either. Hmm. You know, we saw the server lag earlier, so this is probably going to play back to that. Um, indicating it, that there is indeed something funny going on. But, uh, <laughs> fingers crossed I'll be able to finish this playthrough without any more major issues. Yeah, take that. Wow. Feeling a little OP right now. Really am. Page of training. Definitely need those. For the artisan video later to come. Seriously? Jeez. I think that's the thing though. Like, it is faster generating, but it's also pretty shallow. Um, you run out relatively quickly from the constant spam, so maybe that's the uh, the makeup for it, right? You know, maybe that's You can unload a lot of damage, but then you'll run out quickly, but I guess it also recharges quickly So maybe it doesn't matter. I don't know, but I'm just feeling a little a little too strong with this right now with The amount of damage that I'm doing and how quickly I am 
But I mean, look at that. You see, I, I, I was just in a position where I was uh, unable to cast momentarily because I ran out. Another massacre. Bonus kill. Uh, there's all sorts of things. I think you get, um, you know, if you kill while you're at low health, there's bonuses for that too. I, I saw that in actually one of Trump's videos. I found it. Yes. Cathedral level three right away. Beautiful. I can't believe that. So here we go, Templar. Ah, perfect, perfect. All right, let's take out these nubs. Really quick with that electrocute, just bounce from one to the other. Yeah. All right, Templar. Who are you? He says, who are you? Unfinished business with the skeleton king. Let's get this guy first. Servant of John Dar, John Dar, John Dar. The cultists dragged me past this glowing pit. What made it? That's All right. what I'm here to find out. Should be here. He's free. Do not let him off. Level seven too on that. On that note. The armor of a Templar. You're a holy warrior. And magic weapon. Hmm. This is probably going to be something that I actually won't even bother equipping, if it is what I think it is. <clears throat> Which I'm pretty sure it is, because I know the spells in this game. Uh, <laughs> Alright, magic weapon. Imbue your weapon with magical energy, gaining 20% increased physical damage. Uh, only lasts 60 seconds, and only affects melee weapons. So, nothing I can even do right now, because I don't have a melee weapon. Um, but, there you go. So, this, is, this shows you here how you can play a melee wizard if you want to. And I think that's something that we'll play around with in future videos. Um, you know, toss a magic weapon on a two-handed axe and then run around spamming Spectral Blade, which is based off of your weapon damage. I mean, even just in the beta, you can see how something like a melee wizard is possible. And we'll go back to discussion about customization because there have been a lot of people, you know, complaining about a lack of customization in the game. But um, to those people, I say, what are you talking about? Uh, <laughs> customization available through the runestone system is nuts. And the biggest the biggest thing that I'm thinking is that people who um, who maybe are, are new to looking at the game or finding out information about the game, just well, through watching the beta, you don't see the runestone system. Uh, I mentioned it in prior videos. Prior videos, runestones will not be available until Act 2, and Act 2 is not available in the beta. So yeah, people not actually seeing these things maybe don't know about the customization that will come with it. And it'll be crazy. You can definitely pull off a melee melee wizard. Um, it's gonna definitely be possible. So, and it certainly has the opportunity to be quite strong as well. And look at how easy that was with my whiz, with my wizard. Come on, come on, dialogue. There we go. What I pick up? Magic mace. There you go. So that's something I could throw that on. I could be a melee wizard if I wanted to. I really need a two hand for that to be most effective, though. And we will have him come with us, and we will give him heal. Time to find the Black King. Where should we go? I think north is probably going to be where we need to be. Up here. This way. Ooh, lots of guys. Watch the electric go to work. That is strong. That is really strong. I tried to count how many we've killed, but I've lost track. Okay. Throw a little bit of a mix in there. So this way? Ooh, at least this guy's here. Arcane! My worst nightmare. You can see that's that, that, that so far in my experience in the beta, the arcane, uh, these guys. The Arcane Hydras are by far the highest DPS uh, spike, you know, that I've seen so far. I mean, the the damage that they just lay down out of nowhere is insane. It's just insane. Out of absolutely nowhere, they just lay the smack down. It does seem like that. Magic Missile is much better single target, though. 
just much more reliable. You can you can luck out with the electrocute and get a higher end damage, uh, but magic missile is much more reliable. But when I'm grouped up, I will definitely use this. Throw in a couple of these as well. And should be pretty easy. But you can see the restriction there. I am, you know, with the spamming, I am running out. And then there, there's, you know, time in between where, hey, you can't really do much of anything with that. There we go. Still, haven't had a difficult time with the wizard so far in this playthrough. It's been, well, easy, for lack of better terms. This class just beasting. Absolutely beasting. Another health potion. Common scrap. Am I running into a dead end or is this right? Oh, what are these guys? Frozen? Okay. Frozen's not as scary. The speed on these guys, though, is pissing me off. How'd that hit me? I was very far away from that. That's, uh, that is some heavy area of effect. That's some strong splash from that. Very strong splash damage. And I'm just going everywhere, huh? Jeez, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure I'm heading in the right area, though. This looks like it might be it. Lots of guys here. Time for some AoE spam. Got some arcane being thrown at me, but that is not an arcane enchanted. That is just an arcane guy. Arcane enchanted, you would have seen 18 of those bulbs. <laughs> instead of just that, uh, instead of just that one that flew at me. And actually, in a situation like that, I'm maybe having the Frost Nova would have worked pretty well, you know, because it's going to hit everything in that area as opposed to, uh, ooh, Wander the Warlock, huh? Let's see. 10% more wizard damage and plus one to arcane power per critical hit. That is really nice. That is. I will take it. Thank you for helping me fight the darkness. A little hot swap there. The evil is the essence of what it means to be a Templar. That's nice. So much more and we find the royal crypts instantly. So here we go. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like it a lot. Let's get these guys really quick. <laughs> that splash of gold. All right. Oh, because I got the treasure hunter too. Nice. Fortune. Fortune is what it's called, not treasure hunter. See you later, Keep King. This, burden is mine this way. This way to fortune. This way to the king talking about stupid stuff. Look at that. That's that's abuse. That's abuse right there. I'm surprised that they let you do that. Shoot through this at the beginning. <laughs> These guys are sitting ducks in there. Get some ricochet from that as well. Really? That missed? There we go. Let me get these pillars. And one more. And there it is. Alright. Nice and simple. Yeah, I'm feeling quite strong with this class. Um, not that the other classes didn't have their strength. Their strengths and weaknesses, but... Overall, I'm feeling this electric working very strongly for the wizard, most certainly. And I would like to know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you agree? Um, melee wizard, I will work that out. I will work out a video for trying that in the future. Just not in this let's play. I'm going to stick with what works right here. You can hold your horses. It's coming. It's a coming. And get the waypoint, and then it is time to meet up with King Leoric. And that will be the end of this playthrough. I cannot believe it's all over, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the Let's Play Let's Play series of all five classes. If you happen to miss any of them, go ahead and head on over to the channel, Force SC2 Strategy, right on YouTube. And uh, yeah, you can take a look at those initial playthroughs, get my initial thoughts on the classes, the characters, how they play, how they feel. We take a look at all the, the spells that are available and all that sort of jazz. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. 
Now, from this point forward, I'll be working again on those in-depth videos. That's the next step. Um, so things are going to get a whole lot more real <laughs> after this point. Things are going to get a little intense. All right, well, let me see really quick if I want to switch anything out. Shock Pulse. Would I want to switch that out with anything at all? Is that even worth it for me? Maybe I should get the armor instead. 50% armor just in case he does hit me, because I don't think I'll use Shock Pulse that much. If I can just spam Electrocute instead. Yeah, I'll toss on the armor. Why not? Let's toss on the armor for the boss fight, shall we? There we go. It's got two-minute duration as well. And I'm probably just going to be spamming Electrocute, because that seems to work. Again, 10 to 13 guaranteed there, but we've got a huge jump here, 1 to 15. So you can get the higher damage, but you can also get screwed at the same time. It's really going to be most effective whenever he's clumped up with other people. And, uh, and, you know, that way I can have the opportunity for it to hit guys around him as well. So we'll deal with his summons soon. But I think that the constant steady damage is much, you know, it's much more reliable. You can see I'm not running out of arcane as quickly. And there you go. So now is when I would, you know. Where is he though? Ah, there he is. And he got chilled too from that. I didn't expect the uh, the boss to get chilled from that, but it did. There we go. And he got. I can't believe he gets chilled from that. Wow, that armor is actually really proven to help a, a ton. I really, I really thought that he would have been able to uh, be immune to something like that. I just assumed that you know, as a boss, he's immune to those type of effects. <laughs> All right, but again, with the ranged character, you can see how easy these type of boss fights are. Now, that doesn't mean that there will not be boss fights where range won't be effective. It's certainly a possibility, but overall, I find it is always the case that those range casters they do a damn good job at soloing stuff. And there you go, there it is, the wizard. Let's play playthrough of the Diablo 3 beta is done. I got some sweet boots there as well. Awesome, so awesome, so, so awesome. Let's take a look at those boots, see what we got here. One to armor, seven movement speed, four vitality, and then some extra health globe health. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And that's it, that's the Let's Play series, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, it's time for me to start working on other videos. I'll be uh, con publishing these videos all at once. I'm so gonna expect uh, all these playthroughs to come up relatively the same time, uh, at least within the same 24 hour period. And then I need to wait till that's all done before I can start doing more recording because of all the editing and the processing power it takes for, for out of a PC, editing at that, that kind of high definition. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope that you enjoyed this Let's Play series. Um, please let me know in the comments below what type of other content you'd like to see. Like I said, I've got a lots of various things planned, but I always want to know what you guys are interested in seeing, and that way I can better decide what would be best for me to start out with producing. All right, thank you guys so much. As always, if you like the content, please subscribe, keep watching, and keep Keep owning.